Welcome to Taiwan, a small island in East Asia, formerly known as Formosa, the beautiful isle. Mountain ranges dominate two thirds of the eastern side of the island. It is among one of the most densely populated countries in the world. There's so much to see and do, and I'm thrilled to take you along with me. Welcome to Taiwan. Vlog is in Chinese. Chinese vlog, you know? We woke up at 5 this morning. We just got off the plane from Japan. You still need to vlog. Vlog is just 3 p.m. After dropping off our luggage at our hotel, we head straight to our first culinary stop, Ding Tai Feng. I bought this voucher on Klook. They let you basically kind of skip the line. So you kind of prepay for a voucher with a set menu. And you have to choose when you want to visit. But you can go whenever you want on that day. It was 80 minutes when we signed in and now it's 110 minutes. But with the voucher, you only have to line up for 30 minutes. Ding Tai Feng, the restaurant famous for perfecting the art of the perfect soup dumplings. We added more food because it was just too delicious and we wanted more. I love Since our trip is short, we'll be based in Taipei for all five days. We're staying at the Jolly Hotel. It's conveniently located, spacious, and provided everything we need. I love the full-size desk and laundry machines that we rarely get at other hotels. Market. Who are we? <laughs> it's down the street, so we might as well. Taiwan street food is a must try and don't forget to bring cash. After scouting out all our options, I went for my favorite street food, Tong Jobbing, and Andrew went for a mini lamb hot pot. One thing you cannot miss when you're in Taiwan is the incredible Taiwanese breakfast. You have tons of options in Taipei. You can visit a Michelin star breakfast spot or explore one of the many local food stands. Some of the best and most affordable breakfasts are actually found at the food stands. Every morning during our stay, we made it a mission to try out different spots near our hotel. Look at this desk. It reminds me of elementary school. I put my pencil here, I put my stuff here, so I'll lose it inside the cubby. I'm definitely gonna forget stuff. So good. Oh, triple threat. Today we're going on a historic walking tour where we walk back in time through Taiwan's rich history and culture in West Taipei and learn about the stories and legends behind them. This temple is called the Longshan Temple and the main host is Guan Yin Buddha. Guan Yin is a, uh, like our mother in Taiwanese. It's like our mother who can listen to our pain, our sorrow, very gentle, just like our mother. Right? So this is called the laughing answer, meaning God or goddess is laughing at me. This is the very first district being built uh, That's crazy. I've been here a few times and I kind of wanted to learn the history, but I could never really learn anything that meaningful. After 
After being blasted by the sun and heat for four hours, we head to Chen Shui Tang for a late lunch. There's 80% here too. 30. 30. Just trying to get me back. She hates me. It is one of the two Taiwanese restaurant chains that claim to have invented boba milk tea. As if walking for four hours wasn't enough for the day, we hiked up Elephant Mountain to enjoy the sunset and capture the iconic nightscape of Taipei. Undeterred by the stormy weather forecast, we pressed on towards Jiufen, a former mining town that is now most popularly known for its resemblance to the downtown area in Ghibli studio movie Spirited Away. <笑>這裡而起就開始算是久了很多的廟宇你可能沒有辦法像這樣看到所謂的這個廟中廟這是土地公那個不是芬丹島喔 wind might die down I'm hopeful We didn't have a better day, we had to. Well, but you want to fly a drone, this is not the weather to fly a drone. I know, it's not the weather for anything. Here you can find traces of the miners' nightlife and experience retro Chinese-style cafes, tea houses, and souvenir stores. Stay until nighttime to see the famous lanterns light up. A windy day in Jofun. Should have known when we saw the lightning bolts in the weather report. While we missed out on visiting this time, I highly recommend exploring the Gold Museum and nearby hiking trails with stunning viewpoints if you ever have the chance to visit. Rain or shine. We have your hair for reference. Despite the stormy weather, we were fortunate to witness the warmth and hospitality of Taiwanese people. Our Uber driver went above and beyond, transforming into our enthusiastic tour guide and showing us his passion for Taiwan and tourism. It was truly a memorable experience. Even in challenging weather conditions, the kindness and dedication of the locals shine through. Even though I visited Taiwan several times since moving away, I have to admit that I've never really taken the time to explore the island fully, especially not with a camera in hand. But this time, I'm changing that. With just three days to spare, I'm embracing the tourist experience and immersing myself in what makes Taiwan unique. Despite the less than ideal weather, Stephanie and Andrew persevered thanks to the warmth and hospitality of the Taiwanese people. With only a few days left in Taiwan, will the weather be more forgiving for their upcoming adventures? Will they have the opportunity to witness and capture the awe-inspiring natural landscapes of Taiwan? Only one, two fifties. Oh man, he's pretty cool. I'm gonna get all of them. Let's go. 